Well, if you must know, I think your mum was absolutely right to come to me. If you're not going to take any notice of her, what do you expect her to do? Well, what I expect is you to keep your nose out of what doesn't concern you. It does concern him. He's part of the family. Oh, Mum, he's just my cousin. I'm the man in this family. Oh, right, I get this now. This is sort of some alpha male thing about who's in charge. Oh, don't push it, Ian. Martin, if you want to be treated a bit more responsibly, why don't you start by calming down? I am calm. You are stood there with your fists clenched. What are you going to do next? You're going to lump me one or something? But if you want to be treated as the head of the family, fine. Right, I suggest you grow up first. Oh, Martin! Unnecessary, wasn't it? Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Me too. What's going on? How did it come to this? Ian, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's all right, I think I'll get the point, though. I don't need telling twice when I'm not wanted. Oh, we, Ian. No, I'm sorry, Auntie Paula. I think Martin's right. This really is none of my business. You better go and do something with that hand. Yeah. Sorry about earlier, Pauline. I was just angry. But I'm afraid this can't go on like this. Well, you may have given up, but I haven't. It's not a question of giving up. Me and Martin have decided. Well, I'm going to carry on fighting to get my family together, even if you aren't. Pauline, stop it. Look at me. What, what if you take it all the way through the court? And, and Margaret, she fights you, like the social worker said. Can you honestly say you're prepared to drag Rebecca through all of that just so you can get your own way? Well, are you? Yes. Well, then you'll be on your own, because me and Martin won't support you. <laughs> <laughs>